So tomorrow, many of us will stuff ourselves silly with turkey and all the fixings, while others will camp out at big stores to get in on those Black Friday deals. But don't spend all your money on Friday. Small Business Saturday is in its fourth year now. It's the day you're encouraged to seek out and support small mom-and-pop businesses. One area to do so in the city is the Flatiron District. Jennifer Brown is the executive director of the Flatiron 23rd Street Partnership bid or business improvement district. Jennifer, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. So I think by now people have heard of Small Business yes. Saturday. Hopefully. Tell me a little bit uh, about what it's all about, though. Why is it so important? Right. So Amex created in 2010. To your point, I think, you know, this is a huge shopping weekend. A lot of it has been focused over the years on Black Friday, which is really focused on the malls and on big box retailers. So this creates an opportunity for people to really think about the shopping weekend, not just in terms of the malls and the big retailers, but they're local independent retailers and creating a special day just for them. Yeah, and thinking of your district, there are big retailers yes. there, but there are also small ones as well. How are those small retailers doing? Can they compete? They can. I mean, a lot of times you can get things that are very unique if you're looking for gifts and things like that that aren't necessarily um, at the big box stores. We have a really healthy mix of both in our district. We're in Midtown South, so we have Best Buy, we have Home Depot, we have Restoration Hardware, all these big retailers, and we love them, but we have a lot of small independently operated shops as well and restaurants, and these are really the go-to places for the neighborhood, so I think they can compete. Well, I, I hope so. And, and, and do you know a little bit about uh, the special events that you're putting on? Because you have a lot, like 23 days of celebrating small businesses we, in We Atlanta. do. Yeah, so this Saturday we're actually activating a special prize wheel in honor of Small Business Saturday from 12 to 2, where people can come and spin the wheel for prizes and giveaways. There's a picture of the wheel. Um, for prizes and giveaways specifically related to the small businesses. But then on Sunday, December 1st, we launch our 23 days of Flatiron Cheer, which is 23 days of consecutive programming on our public plaza focused on the hotels, the restaurants, the retailers in our district. It includes the prize wheel, live performances, our annual Ugliest Sweater competition. Oh, which is a riot. Is this the second year of Ugliest Sweater? Yes, I it think, is. Right? Yes. And you actually have a runway. Yeah, no, people can strut on that, uh -huh. on that runway and win actually the prize for that is a weekend in the Flatiron District. Oh, so it's great. a great grand prize if you have the ugliest sweater. And it coincides with the tree lighting, is that right? It does. The Madison Square, uh, Square Park tree lighting is a tradition. It was actually the first public tree lighting in America. Mm -hmm. And so our friends at the Madison Square Park Conservancy light the tree on December 10th at 5. And then Ugliest Sweater kicks off at 6.30 that same day. And Madison Square Park is such a special park. There are it a lot is. of arts projects there. It's just a nice place to be. So it is. Let's talk about some of the other events over the sure. three days, which yeah. are a lot of fun. There are a lot of kind of kid-focused events as well. Yes. Um, you have a hot chocolate event. We're doing hot chocolate giveaways from Shake Shack. We have uh, balloon artists, holiday characters from one of our local places, Abracadabra, which is a costume shop. There's going to be some letter writing to children of U.S. soldiers. So there are a lot of kid-focused events. Mm -hmm. We're having performances from Tada Youth Theater and the New York Theater Ballet. Those are two of our local amazing uh, performance venues. Yeah, and, and this one also caught my eye, free gift wrapping. Yes. Who doesn't want free gift wrapping on the holidays? That's right. The catch is, of course, you have to purchase items in Flatiron. Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's our hook, right? So if you purchase something $25 or more at one of our local retailers on Friday, December 20th and Saturday, December 21st, you can come to the Public Plaza and get your gifts wrapped for free. That's great. Yeah. That's really great. So tell me where people can go to kind of get all the little details yes, that we can't talk about on TV. The whole, uh, the whole calendar of events is on our website at discoverflatiron.org backslash holiday. Mm -hmm. All 23 days are described there. All right, great. Well, yes. I hope you get big crowds and remember to, to buy at small businesses on Saturday. That's Jennifer, great. Thanks so much Thank for you being so on the show. Great to have you.